Hi guys, I'm finally back to do a Dollar Tree haul. I mean, it doesn't really seem like I've been gone, but I feel like I've been gone. Um, I haven't been like sticking to my schedule, especially my new schedule I just talked about. Um, but I've just been like trying to get over this cold and my head was, mm, I was just out of commission. I finally feel like that's gone. Um, even though, you know, nasally I still sound, mm, but I feel so much better. Um, Dollar Tree haul time. Also, I just really feel like going at the most relaxed pace today. Um, usually, I do want to try to rush through things because I know a lot of you like shorter videos. I know a lot of you like longer videos, even though all the time my videos end up being 20 minutes somehow. No, no matter how many items I share from Dollar Tree, it's like always a 20 minute video. But today, I truly feel like just going relaxed. Um, going at random is my favorite way as well, and I probably feel like I'm gonna have a lot to say just because I haven't really been talking too much, so I just feel like I'm probably gonna talk. Alright, so grab a drink, get cozy, because it's just gonna be one of those videos. Alright, um, there's actually a mashup of things. There's like Valentine's Day stuff again, and a bunch of brand new finds as well, so let's just dive in. Um, because these signs are right in front of me, I'll show you guys the new Dollar Tree decor signs that I found, and they are so cute, and I haven't even, like, picked up all of them, by the way. Um, there's so many new signs. I've already showed a bunch in, like, previous hauls for 2022. Like, that's crazy. This one says, I like you, and then it says a lot at the bottom, which is so adorable. Is my necklace already? Oh, no. I, I never pay attention to like my necklaces and sometimes the little clasp is showing um but anyways so this sign is really cute what i love about it is the black glitter detail it's just so pretty and i like the font of it too it looks like typewriter font so it's very pretty and you can see how big this sign is like so lovely and then this one says be my valentine love the use of the different font and i also like how simple this is too i think some red hearts would have been cute here but you could definitely add those on your own with like some little stickers i picked up some more of these sponges it was just time for a refill i feel like i really need to do like a 2020 new year deep clean in this house um and then i found these um valentine's day cupcakes paper cups actually they're not like cupcake liners they're just paper cups for like party although the cupcake liners are out and they're pretty i think they were the same as last year the same colors so it has that foiled look so cute with the little red hearts this gold one is very fancy i saw this item at dollar tree and the first thing that i instinctively did was i looked around for the price tag i don't know if it was just like the way that they were packaged like this, I was just kind of like, is this part of the bonus or what? This is a repack of reusable makeup removing rounds. Wait, these are mm, reusable makeup removing rounds. Oh, okay. So this is kind of like the makeup eraser towelette, but this is in a rounds. <gasps> oh my gosh, I am very excited. And I love these because all you do is run these under water and then like, there you go. And I love that so much more than makeup wipes. So, and reusable, so you're gonna be able to wash them, which is amazing. Love that. And then I found a NFL magnet. We've got the Dallas Cowboys. I do live in Dallas, so it makes sense for me to find the Dallas Cowboys in my store. I have no idea if this is like something that you would see in your stores with like, you know, the team in your area or not, but Look how huge this cat magnet is. That's the thing about Dollar Tree, you know, especially if you're new to shopping, you just always gotta be on the hunt because you don't know what the heck is gonna roll through this store um, because it'll be a combination of random things like this that Dollar Tree just maybe acquires from other stores and then stuff that actually comes out of like the Dollar Tree warehouse. All right, next up is part of their spring stuff, which I'm very excited about because I love, love, love their spring line. I'm always buying their gloves, their flower cutters, just all that stuff I love. These are plastic watering stakes. How cute are these? And I found them in green, pink, 
and blue. Love the spring colors. And essentially you just like fill this up with water and then I think you just stake it into like your flower pot, your plant plants, maybe even a flower bed. I don't have like the greenest thumb, so comment down below and let us know all your tips and tricks for these. But I've never seen these in this specific design at Dollar Tree before, so this is a brand new item. So FYI. Also a brand new item is this Peeps. Dollar Tree's been putting out the Peeps. So exciting, I love seeing them, they're so cute. Especially when you do wanna do like color themed gift baskets or care packages and stuff like that. They have so many like color varieties, but this one is brand new to Dollar Tree. And it is a collab with um, the donut shop. And this is the donut shop coffee flavor. How awesome is that? The originals came back, like the birthday cake peep, the pink peep, yellow, purple, blue, all of those. But this flavor I've never seen before at Dollar Tree. So if you wanna do like a coffee themed gift basket or something like that, or even stock up on these for your coffee bar, go grab you some. Love those. All right, next up, here are some more signs for Valentine's Day. And I'll just kind of like throw these up so you can see them love how cute these are love the square and this one is so cute i love this one because they did the gold foil 25 cents which is so adorable but also i kind of feel like i look at this quarter and i'm like what's that supposed to mean you know a dollar a dollar 25 like what do you mean dollar tree like that's just i'm still a little sour about it but i do love the font i think it's super cute it really goes with like the kisses so i love that detail forever is too short with you they're doing a lot of different like phrases and stuff which i'm really loving so can't you know can't be too too mad about that um that extra quarter so there's that i'm still mad about it but like there we go Okay, and then I found this Boom Chicka Pop, which is a huge popcorn brand, Angie's, at Dollar Tree. I was just like, what? This is just, yeah, this is like what I was talking about earlier. You just never know what's going to pop up in the store. It's a pretty good size bag of um, popcorn. This is the white cheddar popcorn too, so love that. I did not see any other flavors, just this one. But you never know. I mean, every store is just going to unfortunately be different. But, <clears throat> all right, so I found that. And then in this bag right here, I actually had these clay pots on my list. Dollar Tree has sold them for years and years. But mine weren't being stocked probably because they're really part of spring. But finally, I saw them and I picked some up for my kitchen. I'm gonna be doing some major redecorating in the entire house, so stay tuned. The first space I believe is gonna be my bedroom, but I did get these to style my pie safe with. Um, just like, I love the raw, you know, earthy like quality of these little clay pots. You see you get two for the dollar 25. They also make these in a smaller size as well. So wishing we could get a little bit bigger in the actual clay pots, not like the plastic pots that they do. Maybe some stores have them, but I haven't seen them at mine yet. But yeah, I did get these for decorative purposes. I'm not, I don't even know that I'm gonna style like anything green per se. I'm just gonna kind of like stack them and just kind of display them in my pie safe. So I got those. All right, let's talk about water because I've purchased these before. When I first found these at Dollar Tree, I really actually didn't know much about this water bottle brand. It's called Icelandic Glacial. And I've really been on this whole like water journey. So definitely comment anything that you know down below. But <clears throat> what has really caught my attention on this particular water, okay, is that it says pH 8.4 which would put it in the alkaline, alkalinic, I don't even know if that's the right word, alkaline side of things, which is essentially where you want your water to be. You don't want it to be on the acidic realm. And it still kind of blows my mind that water can be acidic, um, but I've actually done a water testing video before <laughs> in the last house. I don't know who remembers that video, but 
um, you would have to buy like the drops and then, you know, put each different like water bottle, Fiji, Ozarka, all of those things in different cups and then you drop the little drops and then you can kind of see where they range in the pH level. You definitely want it to be a more purple result than a yellow result. But so I've been really in my mind about water lately and making sure that I'm not drinking acidic water. It's just so sad. Like I feel like I could honestly talk about water for the rest of this video, but this really like caught my attention about this. And not only that, but it's natural spring water, which is also a really good form of water that you want is the natural spring. You want the good minerals that come with it, okay? And then to make it even better, it says it's a BPA-free bottle because really my only reservation about bottled water is how long has that water been in the plastic bottle? Because now plastic, it, yeah. But again, not to like dive too far off, but it does say it's BPA-free, but the question I have, and if anybody knows, please answer it. What else, could anything else be leaking from the plastic? If it says it's BPA free, like are we good, are we solid? Is there any other type of chemical from the, you know, plastic? That's my only concern is how long has this water been sitting in this bottle kind of thing. So, but I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna drink it. Like, but you know, I'm still trying to like, really re-educate myself when it comes to like water and all that stuff so i know i just went on and on and on but i bought a bunch of these from dollar tree like a ton um and if i see them again i will i will buy more of them so just and they were a dollar 25 so i'm just gonna yeah so there we go i know i just talked for a long time about water but in case anybody was interested so there's that. And I know you guys know how to use the fast forward button if you got bored. All right, so next up, I bought some more cleaning agents. I bought the Fabuloso. I've actually been on the hunt for one specific Fabuloso and I have not found it. I saw it in a video and the girl, it had like Pine Sol. It was, I think it was like a collab with Pine Sol and Fabuloso. So I'm on the hunt for it, can't find it, but I did pick up my good old lemon staple i love this whenever i'm done cleaning like in a bathroom i will just pour a little bit into the tank or not in the tank in the bowl let it sit and then i'll flush and it just smells like i haven't used a ton of chemical cleaning products in there it's like my final touch i do the same thing in a bathroom with like a sink just stop up the sink run a little water dilute it a little bit it just kind of refreshes the whole space after i've cleaned it and then i also picked up the purple one which is the antibacterial this one is listed as a multi-purpose cleaner. And one thing that I've learned from Vanessa is get to know your cleaning products. Like get to know really what they're for, what you're supposed to use, and it tells you everything you need to know on the bottle. So, um, so yeah. So this one kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and it is a lavender scent, by the way. <clears throat> I don't know why the fire always dies. I think it's the type of wood I get. All right, anyways, so there's that. All right, let's see, what do I grab for next? Okay, then I found these, which again, I looked for the price. I looked to see if these were part of the bonus. Hmm, Dollar Tree, they've really gotten to me. But look how huge these bottles of hand soap refill are, and it was $1.25, that's what it rang up. This is the liquid hand soap refill. It is by Soft Soap. So you can see here that I picked up the coconut one. You guys can, there we go. So love the coconut. And then I also found it in the lavender. And I love how it says washes away bacteria, paraben free and formulated without phthalates, vegan and dye free, 79 plant based, 79% 79, 79 plant based ingredients. Wow. That's pretty awesome. So that's just huge. These are humongous bottles. So $1.25. All right, <clears throat> next up some more Valentine's Day goodies. These are their like little DIY wood chip projects where you just take some paint to it. And they look like little, they're calling them decor, but it looks like you would put like your Valentine's Day cards or something in there. 
I don't really know. Or you could just paint these up, tuck some greeneries into it, maybe style them like on the wall or something. The little truck was my favorite. Like look how adorable that is. These are also brand new. Dollar Tree's not done anything quite like this. So I'm loving the concept. All right, so I found those. And then I know because they're putting out Valentine's Day, they're also in conjunction starting their amping up their spring line, which also means new organization products. So they usually, I feel like they do their organization stuff spring and summer. And I found this little box, so cute. I love the black handle detail. These are gonna be a great pickup for any type of organization you need to do. And I don't know if this came from, I don't think this came from Dollar Tree because it doesn't have like the Dollar Tree logo on it. So, but I really love the little box. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I'm thinking maybe my office or my craft room is like where, what I'm thinking. And then I found this little cutie, little pencil box with the unicorn. So adorable. I only found it in this one purple, purpley color. There we go. It's gonna be really cute. Even if it's not for you, this would be a great little pickup to maybe do a care package, fill it up with some goodies, whether it's pencils, erasers, paint, like whatever it is, or you could fill it up with candy and then put it in your care package and that would be really adorable. So found that one. And then I found a National Geographic book. I was so excited for this find. And I just love the whole illustration of it as well. I feel like I stumbled upon a really good find for $1.25. Like, what? And there's a whole thing to collect, but I've only, I've only found this one. The Literary Adventures of Washington Irving. What? Like, look how lovely this book is. Like, how? How do these things end up at Dollar Tree? I mean, how gorgeous is this book? Oh my gosh, the illustrations. That's just awesome. This is an awesome find in my opinion. So I hope you guys find it if it's something that you're gonna be on the hunt for. All right, so I got that. And then, oh, this item right here, I saw somebody post on it on Instagram. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't remember who, who it was, but I was like, I have to find those. And I found one, okay? It is a little caboodle with a massive mirror for $1.25 with the Dollar Tree logo, okay? So that's really exciting. That means that the majority of us, in theory, should find it, right? Across all the stores equally. It comes in other colors. I believe I saw it in pink purple, maybe blue. I know pink for sure, but I found it in this iridescent light. And it was the only one too. It was the only one. And it was like in the most random spot. Oh my gosh, I just wish I had the other colors because I really wanted all the other colors as well. But look how cute that is. Um, so excited I at least found one. Still gonna be on the hunt for the other colors. I also picked up some more of these brushes. I just needed some more clean brushes. And then here's another one. This is Brillo, by the, will, by the way. Brillo Basics. I got that. And then I found a new Jot Pen release. I'm very excited. I cannot wait to try these. If you're new to my channel, you will see me haul pens probably the most out of anything. <laughs> I'm always on the hunt for a good pen and to me a good pen is where it writes very smooth I'm not a necessarily a big fan of like fine tip where it seems scratchy I love just like smooth writing because I don't pick up my pen I don't necessarily write in cursive either but I don't like to pick up my pen and lift up so I tend to prefer the smoother writing pens because I think they just complement my handwriting style more and um, this is a pack of mix of blue and black, so I really love that too. And smooth writing metal tip. It's a 0 0.7. I tend to prefer the 2.0. That's, that's major smooth. 
right? 0 0.7 is more on like the finer side, but still gonna give it a whirl and see what I think. <coughs> okay, next up, let's see. Oh, here's another book, which I feel like a lot of you are gonna be on the hunt for this. Books can be such a special, unique find at Dollar Tree, and this one's one of them. This is Cat Memes, the original book of cat humor. Actually, fun fact, but I grew up with cats. I didn't actually grow up with dogs. I grew up with cats. And our cats' names were Mayflower, Leo, and Maverick. Um, and I just, I love cats. Like, I can watch cat TikToks for hours and hours, and it's the funniest thing to me. Um, so when I saw this, I was so excited. And look at the inside. Like, look how hilarious this book is. I haven't like fully gone through it. I only kind of like glanced at it. I just knew it was funny. <laughs> like there's just something about cats that just crack me up. But yeah. I also heard that like cats get rid of like negative energy in your house. Is that true? But I don't know. I'm very excited about this book. It just looks hilarious. And this is also a very beautifully done book. Like look how beautiful that is. So it's just gonna look stunning if you do some type of like little gift basket, you know? All right, so I found that, and then, let's see, oh, I found some nails, which I feel like those of you who have been following me on this YouTube journey for a while, you know, like, I have tried to get on the nail bandwagon. I'm just, I'm just not. Like, I don't even paint them. I barely get my nails done, like, twice a year at most. But I found these and I said I've got to show them these because if I were to do my nails, I would eat these up. There's just something about the matte look to them that I really liked and I knew looking at them they were brand new too from Dollar Tree. So they are matte fashion nails. Oh my gosh, look at this marble effect and this pink, the pink one is so pretty. Love it. And they might have had other colors but these were the ones that I found. And that's the other thing, I really want to do a better job of bringing more things to the camera for you guys to see what's at Dollar Tree because that's what I preach all the time but I can tend to still zone in on products that like only I specifically find interesting if that makes sense um, so I'm gonna try to do a better job of like bringing a whole variety of stuff to you guys so you can know kind of what's going on all right so I found those and then they released some more lip glosses, the whole little novelty pack. Always looking out for them to do this because they will do this several times a year. But they did the little unicorn again. In a different way, these aren't the exact same unicorns, but it's pretty darn close. And I found these three flavors. Okay, so we got cherry, grape, and then what looks to be apple, which is very exciting. And then, but they've done the unicorn bit before. So I'm gonna open one of these. I'm gonna open up the apple one, actually. because so I want you guys to see um, where the lip gloss is at. Okay, so essentially it's in this little, see that? So, you know, just going, I just put that on my nose. Mm -hmm. Well. Apple. But yeah, I just kind of like they've done diamonds, right? They've done these unicorns before. Kind of looking for them to do something new. It would have been cute to see hearts. They might have done hearts in the past as well, but um, but anyways, found those. And then I also found these little string lights. These are brand new. Show you guys what I grabbed. If they would have had more, I would have grabbed them. I only found the three. And these are diamonds. And they are LED lights. You do need batteries in here. It takes two double A's. And then we've got the little um, watermelons. These watermelons are very cute. So if you feel like these are just kind of like more on the little girl level, the watermelons might be a cute pickup. You might style them some way in a tear tray for summertime um, or something like that. And then the other one are these pandas. So anyways, we got those. All right, next up, let's see, what are I going? Oh, Betty Crocker, there's this new little container set there that I've never seen before and I want you guys to see them. 
You get four in here for $1.25 and they're just, yeah, they're just like these little mini storage containers which has um, measurements on it as well, which I really liked. So if you're gonna be doing any sort of meal prepping, this could be something that you could grab for like sauces or dressings that you're making for your meal prep. So it's pretty awesome, right? So these are new, never seen these at Dollar Tree before. So be on the lookout for those. And then um, this brand, what's this brand called? Ioni. They usually have in the past been um, false eyelashes and then I think they did some makeup as well. But look at, look at this back. And I didn't even pick up everything. But these are makeup um, tools. So I found the flat blending brush. And there's just something about this packaging that I really love this packaging, you guys. And then I found the compact mirror, which is, this is giving me Louis Vuitton dupe vibes. Like this whole packaging business. Um, with a little, you know? All right, then I found the makeup sponge. This is the slanted tip. And they made several makeup sponges. Here is one, the slanted bottom. And then there is also the teardrop original shape in the pink and there might even be more sponges to choose from as well what uh, i also found the nail clippers oh yeah the more i look at this packaging the more louis vuitton dupeness that is going on here this is a very exciting brand new find also the lash tweezers and once i share all of them individually i'll include a clip of all of it together. I just think it's nice for you to kind of see the packaging all together. Here is the eyelash curler. So pretty. All of this, $1.25. We've got a highlight brush. It's the first time I've seen this brand do this. Um, and then I have the concealer brush. I love the yellow. I love the yellow. And then I also have the tweezers. And like I said, I still did not pick up every single thing. Whenever they do stuff like this, this is the mask application brush. Whenever they do so many different items with one release, I always get overwhelmed. I'll include the shot now so you can see the whole packaging system together. But this was very exciting. And the fact that they're doing this like play on Louis Vuitton, <laughs> I've never seen anything like it at Dollar Tree. Okay. Wait a minute, here's another one. It is the Brow and Lash Duo. Love this, I can't wait to try this. So I actually need to try a new brow brush. Okay, let's move on to a couple of things for Valentine's Day. They are putting out all of their new candy and I love, I love holiday candy, it just gets me. So like here's Haribo. And they're the gold bears, but they only included the red and the white bears, which I thought was so cute. So the red is raspberry and the white is pineapple, which are my two favorites. So the fact that my two favorites are in one bag, can't go wrong. Then I found these adorable little chocolates, which I don't think I've ever seen at Dollar Tree. But they have a little maze with the ball, but the hearts are chocolate. How freaking adorable is that? They are double crisp chocolates. I'm telling you, something about the holidays and the candy gets me. These, I feel like if you're gonna do yourself a coffee bar, hot chocolate bar for Valentine's Day, go get this now. Because this is such a beautiful candy. Look at this. What, what? From Dollar Tree. No, I know, it's not a big deal, right? Because you could get this stuff anywhere, but you can't ever find it at Dollar Tree like this. That's what's exciting about it. Um, this is Oliver's two milk chocolatey pretzel rods with the drizzle. Very Valentine's Day. Gorgeous, it's gonna look gorgeous in a coffee bar, so I hope you guys find that. And then I picked up even more of their handmade cards. I just found a whole set in a previous video. I'll link it down below so you can see those. 
But then my store would continue to stock and I found the whole display and it's massive. Still didn't get all of the cards, but super cute. I'm gonna I'm point you guys to another video. I'll link it down below. Go see how I used these Valentine's Day cards in a DIY. So this one is really cute. I love the little bear. It's probably like my favorite little image. Anything with clouds, balloons, I always think it's so adorable. And then the gnome. I'm not a gnome person, but when I tell you this card got me, it got me. He is so adorable. So adorable. <laughs> like, I just can't deal. And then here's the little bears, the little gummy bears. They did this in the first set of cards I hauled, but in the shorter version of the card. So this is the taller, skinnier version. And then this one with the socks. These cards, I look forward to these cards every holiday release. This one says, be my Valentine. Very classic, beautiful. Like these cards are just fantastic. Here's this one. Love the rainbow, the cloud, so cute. And then the little bear rainbow effect and then this one cute little traditional card and then they did of course the animals the ever adorable puppy and kitty options so oh my gosh does he not look like loki you look like i mean he's got the white feet but like he looks like loki kind of with his little with his little the little headband so adorable and this cat this cat looks like a model superstar look at him and then this one says you make my heart so happy that's cute that's a really cute little message love it and then the last one this last one's kind of it doesn't make sense but like here we are you know there's different ribbons um all right whatever there it is. Unique. So there's that. All right. I feel like we just went through everything and it actually, I think this is like over a hundred dollars. It's probably what I'm going to add in my title. I actually meant to separate this and do two separate hauls, but because I missed yesterday, I said, no, let me show them everything today. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, if you love the bigger hauls, um, definitely thumbs up and comment and tell me. Um, so I know what you guys are kind of looking for when it comes to my videos. Today was a longer one, so I hope you guys enjoyed and had a great time. I hope your tea and your coffee was delicious and you cuddled up. Um, and that's it for today's video. So I will see you guys tomorrow for a regular haul. And then again, with all the rest of my videos, pretty soon I'm going to be doing my redecorate with me in my bedroom. Everything's coming together so great. I'm getting a piece of furniture in today from Amazon. It's actually a bench. So very exciting things. We're moving and I can't wait for you guys to kind of see how I'm going to change up my style a little bit. So um, stay tuned, subscribe, hit the bell so that you're notified when my videos come out and I'll see you guys tomorrow.